What is the worst movie you've ever seen? No, I'm not talking about this movie or that movie. I mean a movie so bad, so fundamentally broken, that it leaves a pit in your stomach or makes you feel frustrated and angry beyond any reasonable measure. This is a question I've been asking myself for a while, and I think it's about time to do something about it. So I pulled up the list of the bottom 100 lowest rated movies on IMDb, and I'm going through them one by one to find the worst movie ever. Welcome to the search for the worst. Jurassic Shark is the Jurassic worst. I mean, th this is just crap. Yeah, yeah. For a few months, this movie was actually the lowest rated thing on IMDb. So you'd expect it to be horribly offensive trash, right? Well, not exactly. What the hell was that thing, man? What comes to mind when you hear the title? Well, obviously it's... Jurassic Park. They even stole the Jurassic Park font for the poster, but much like all of these predictable shark movies, the title was nothing more than a selling point to convince people to watch it. It could be anything like Killer Shark, Sharks Unleashed, Hunter, Sharks Inbound, Super Shark, Murder Shark, Shark Tale. Point is, it doesn't matter what the damn name of the film is, because everyone is obsessed with anything that features sharks, apparently. What does matter, though, is how shoddy and lazy this fucking movie is. As you've probably been able to tell from the random b-roll in the background here, the lighting looks amateur, the framing is bad, it looks like a bad YouTube video. And even then, that's kind of an insult to YouTube videos, because there is some really well done stuff out there. I mean, this movie is so cheap that it actually starts to conflict with itself and pull you out of it completely. Most of the movie is a huge contradiction and nothing makes any goddamn sense. They start with a movie maker presentation of classic megalodon facts. They even specifically point out how large they can grow, just so they can defy what they've already set up later on, you'll see what I mean. Are you sure we're allowed to be here? You can't have one of these movies and not have a scene where a couple of pretty ladies are doing something. It doesn't matter who they are or why they're here, as long as they splash around for a bit like rascals in the river. Yeah, it's a river, not an ocean. Or it might be a lake, I don't know. Since when does sharks live in rivers? Or like little lakes? Anyway, who fucking cares? The only point of this is to show some nearly naked ladies so the dudes who are watching this at two in the goddamn afternoon don't turn it off quite yet. I hope you have some good news for me, Dr. Grant. Hey, d do you get it? Right, to meet you finally in person, Dr. Grant. Dr. Grant. Jurassic Park reference, everybody. That's like what the title of this movie is. Adds a lot to this scene, too. So, um, what immediately jumps out at you in this scene? I hope it's the fact that this looks like a boring room in an office building or something. So it's all shot in one awkward long take, apart from a reaction cut or two spliced in. But most of all, I enjoy the fact that the camera keeps moving around. That's really great. And also the fact that this, this is the, the worst, worst fucking framing, framing possible. possible. They chat for a bit about this guy giving this guy permission to keep drilling into the ground for oil or something. Then when he gets permission, he fist pumps the air like any respectful oil driller would. We've already had this discussion. All safety protocols have been met. What? I, I can't really hear you over the sound of the fucking, fucking echo, echo in this, in this open, open stairwell. stairwell. I'll go to the board. <laughs> Too deep. You're drilling too deep. You worry too much. No! You drilled too deep! Fuck this movie. Unfortunately, they drilled too deep, I guess. Which causes some fucking huge explosion in the middle of a forest. But these girls who see it are just like, Oh, who cares? There are earthquakes here all the time. So the ladies jump in the six inch deep water, you know. The perfect habitat for 16 meter long sharks. Then we get multiple shots that are presumably supposed to be from the shark's point of view. But you can kind of see the bottom of the river and it looks like it's barely two meters deep. Wait, 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 so let me get this straight. So they'll change and add this water sound effect in post. It sounds like someone crudely waving their hand around in the bathtub. But they won't ADR a scene like this. Whatever movie, you just you just keep doing what you're doing. So blah blah, one of the ladies pretends to be pulled underwater by a shark, and the other one does the same. Late title card. It was about this time that I started to get worried that you'd never actually get to see the shark itself because this, this movie, movie is, is so, so cheap. cheap. But don't worry, folks, you do get to see it eventually, and it's just as fucking terrible as you'd expect. So here's where we get into the real shark meat of this movie. These people are a bunch of criminals who stole a valuable painting, or painting, as she likes to say. You damaged that painting? This woman is supposed to be a really intimidating female lead antagonist, and she's the worst. She's the absolute, the absolute fucking, fucking worst. worst. Idiot! I especially appreciate the fact that she chose to wear her hair in pigtails, the most threatening hairstyle 
of them all. She put the gun in his mouth and blew his brains out. Yeah, yeah, help me with this. No one reacts like a real person in this movie. It's like they're saying lines that were written, but at the same time, it comes across like these people have no idea who they are, what they're doing, or where they are. That thing is a Megalodon. Don't worry about my little brother. He's slow, but he's dependable. Don't you love it in movies where characters who we don't know inform the audience of their various relationships by saying things like, You're my best friend. Johnny's my best friend. You're my brother. You were my brother, Anakin! You know, that way of talking that no, no one, one does, does in real, real life. life. So these master criminals decide to take their multi-million dollar painting on a tiny rowing boat. We got away. The cops never expected a water getaway. But... You're on a rowboat going about five miles an hour. I suppose it'd be knots, wouldn't it? Aren't it fucking? Woman's shirt is a bit itchy, so she gives it an itch. And they leave it in. But anyway, I'm sure you have absolutely no idea where this scene is going. Let's play What's the One Thing Missing from This Scene? Okay, so they have a bunch of lughead criminals on a tiny rowboat. We have an open space of water. They're completely defenseless. And this movie is called Jurassic Shark. Oh yeah, it must be a scene where the shark comes in and does a thing. So because megalodons are known for attacking the underside of boats in rivers that could barely even realistically house it because they're so huge, the boat gets flipped by shark face. Something just brushed past my leg. This is what I mean by the movie contradicting itself over and over. Why establish how big the thing is in the opening credits, only to then make us assume that these people couldn't see a shark that's about eight times bigger than a person? It'll make any sense. Something got me! Yeah, it really looks like you've been got by a shark that's four times the length of a double-decker double bus. bus. Here are the really cool and interesting main characters. You have Woman 1, Bitch 2, and the other one. And you also have Dead Man because he's gonna be dead in a second. College people without a care in the world, or like, one of them cares because they want to be a journalist and write a paper about the oil drilling that was mentioned earlier? Or some such nonsense? Fuck it, oh yeah, sh sharks. sharks. Meanwhile, the dumbest criminals in the history of anything ever try to figure out what to do about the pain team. What the hell was that thing, man? So despite all of them just witnessing their buddy getting murdered by some kind of creature, this guy still goes in anyway. Shark Jerry, shark! Oh no, it's a CG depiction of a shark. Uh, so so we, we, we finally get to see it in all its terrible, terrible glory. Not only is every single shot with the shark in it completely different in color and tone, but they couldn't even go as far as to... Um... Uh... What? Can I just see that again? Right. Okay. Okay. It's like the shittiest looking thing I've ever seen. Let's look at it frame by frame just to summarize the shittiness. Okay, so this is the first time you see the shark like a, like properly attack someone. So let's just point out how shit this looks. Okay, first look at the fin. Look at the fin. It's like not even affecting the water at all. It's just sort of crudely. Hey, look, it's shark fin. Okay, whatever. Here's the thing though. Watch him. Okay, he's he, he's got like half a meter cleared. He could easily escape this fucking thing. But he decides to bend over and catch his breath, which you know is a, a great decision. So the shark comes over. Watch this. Oh no, he's been eaten. But look at this frame by frame. Fucking look at this frame by frame. Look. Look at the cropping around him. Look how terrible the shark looks. And they blur the screen. They just completely blur it so you can't even see how shit it looks properly. Because he just turns into this weird dummy thing. You know, a lot of CG, like, does this, where they, they change it into a CG character that you're not supposed to be able to see, but the thing is, you can see it so fucking clearly in this. Look, it's just this weird dummy thing, he's still got shoes on it. And he's just murdered. Shark moves away like a... Like a shark totally would, in this... Clearly, it's horribly shallow water as well. Why would a Megalon D be here? I don't even know. But, yeah. It's just shit. It's fucking shit. Jerry. I can't believe it. He must have really cared about his brother, because that was some heartbreaking acting right there. Right, so back to the asshole college assholes, where we just repeat the exact same scene that literally just happened, but with these characters instead. They are on a boat for some reason. They get knocked off the boat. Guy gets eaten by shark and all that's left is his leg. 
cool. So because this is a motherfucking movie, the criminals decide that it would be a good idea to pretend to be another group of innocent idiots who got stranded on the island. Yeah, I know it might not look like it, but this movie tries to make you believe that these characters are stranded on some kind of island. They make out like they've been trapped by the shark. It's a shark! A monster shark! Even though you can clearly see various pylons and power lines in the background, so you can only assume that there's at least some kind of large bridge or way of getting over the island proper. It probably doesn't help that most of the movie is set in this shitty looking river slash lake area, it was probably filmed in the best part of an afternoon, and then another large chunk of it is set in the woods, which is on this island as well for some reason. They stay out in the woods overnight, I guess. They don't really explain why, but they sure like to walk around a lot. Like, a hell of a lot. As in, can you please hurry this shit up? So this is the expected secret hidden laboratory scene that is responsible for unleashing the shark or something. But it's in the middle of this complete fucking shithole. And again, you can clearly see pylons in the distance. Uh, are we supposed to just buy that they're in the same place right now? They go inside the abandoned warehouse, but then it awkwardly cuts to what looks like a room in someone's house. That They even went as far as to crudely make a sign with pen and paper that says, Danger Explosives. Yeah. So because they have literally two or three sets they can use, it awkwardly cuts again to some other place. But this time, the old guy from the beginning is covered in blood and is lying there. How did he get here? How did he survive? What is happening? Who fucking knows? This part is completely insulting. Could get this. Because the criminals force the scientist man person to get into the water to try and find the painting, but before he goes in, he slides down his lab coat and underneath he's wearing a product placement. Hogsback beer t-shirt. I know what you wear underneath those lab coats is kind of irrelevant, but really though. Give me a break! Cool! I hate this movie so fucking much. So you don't- you don't even get to see that death. Just stop. Can you just end now, please, movie? Cheers. In the midst of the chaos, the main characters somehow manage to escape into the woods again, but ultimately it's nothing but a pointless, boring chase scene that ends with one of the girls getting eaten. And again, as expected, it looks fucking shit. Then the movie just keeps going. And then there's this totally weird scene where this big guy is perving on the girls while they sleep, but then the baddie woman comes over and takes his place on Nightwatch, presumably to stop any sort of assault before he did it. I guess. Then she says she knows that one of the girls is awake because she can hear her breathing change. I know you're awake. I heard the change in your breathing. So finally, in the action-packed finale, the criminals attempt to send the girls into the water to get the painting. Because this plan has worked flawlessly every single time. But to make sure that the girls don't get eaten, they throw dynamite at the shark to scare it away. Which, I guess they have dynamite now, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> Luckily though, the girls have a plan to escape, and throw a rock at the dude who's holding a dynamite which causes him to violently explode into a mass of blood and entrails, which somehow ends in them managing to get a gun, which floats by the way. Can guns float? Somehow I doubt it. For no reason at all, this guy just goes into the water and gets killed. <laughs> Why is this film so weird? It doesn't even look like the shark is doing anything, it's just like biting nothing. Okay, here we go. Get a load of fucking this. So this is the biggest fuck you moment in the entire movie. All the girls are in a tense standoff. Then, for no fucking reason at all that isn't explained, the shark decides to leap out of the water, bite an apple, I mean, eat the evil woman, and somehow land back in the water. Listen to that apple bite sound effect. Am I, am I wrong? That sounds like an apple biting sound effect. Anyway, this is a scientific recreation of what just happened. Are you- are you fucking kidding me? The girls then decide that they need to murder the shark, despite it just saving them. So they blow it up with a bit of dynamite and it comically explodes like a video game. Happily ever after. Well, except for this completely pointless ending scene where a couple of dudes sit drinking product placement while they're ogling some woman. Then they get eaten by another shark, which is supposed to like set up a sequel or whatever. Let's have a look at how shitty and shoddy the effect sequence was in this part. Okay, so at the end of the movie, we have this bizarre scene just out of nowhere. So we've got these two dudes sitting in the chair, drinking away. Oh look, shark comes in. Fucking eats them. Again, let's look at this frame by frame. Watch this guy. Well, first watch this guy, actually, look. Morphing into... Rubber Man. And then look at this guy. Just normal. Morphs into... Man who's ready to be eaten. And there we go, look, sucked in. Totally different body types, just completely looks different. This guy, like, gets sucked in, look. By some kind of vacuum, it looks like. It's just sucked in. That guy tries to escape, doesn't manage it. 
just looks shit. How the shark even moves like that, like this, so close to the fucking rocks. How would it even do that? I don't know. How did anyone think this was acceptable? Again, I just don't know. There's a good look at that fucking terrible scene. Hope you enjoyed it. Finn! Huh. <laughs> Get it? Very, very funny. Good one, movie. Good one. Jurassic Shark is a piss-take excuse of a movie. Sometimes these awful movies that have no budget can be weirdly charming, but this one comes across as more lazy rather than incompetent. The awful effects, the nonsensical, completely bizarre plot, terrible acting, awful camera, it has no discernible merits to it. It's completely trivial, a waste of everyone's time. You know, I don't care how much heart or energy you poured into this. Either you're a cynical, lazy asshole who wanted to make a quick buck with obtusive product placement, or you're so clueless that you probably shouldn't be making movies in the first place. It's like they thought they were clever for coming up with a title, and banked purely on the fact that people would mistake the title for Jurassic Park. Or I guess they just wanted to jump on the generic shark movie bandwagon, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's a piece of shark shit. Wait, d d do sharks like properly shit? Or is it like a weird paste? That can be your homework, folks. Tell me in the comments. The weird thing is, I didn't find this movie to be the absolute worst while I was watching it, but after thinking about it for more than three seconds, yeah. This film fucking sucks. There's no excuse for such a poor product. It doesn't even have the funny bad movie quality either. It's just so shit that it's shit and boring. Hey, did you know that electroreception allows sharks to notice changes in saltwater electricity conduction? Blood changes conductivity and sharks can smell that. There you go, folks. If nothing else, you've at least learned a pointless fact about sharks that I got off the internet that I just take for granted. I don't I don't know if this is a real thing. For all I know, sharks could be underwater wizards or something. I hate sharks, so I don't really know or care, to be honest. And up next in the search for the worst is... The Little Panda Fighter. Terrible animated movies. My favourite. So those are my thoughts on Jurassic Shark. They aren't often this bad. Well, I mean... Well, they kind of are, but at the same time, it has sharks, or whatever. So what do you think? Did you like or dislike the video? Have you seen the movie before? Whatever it is, tell me what you think in the comments below. I'm sure you'd say it even if I hadn't prompted you. But as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you check out some of my other videos, various other social media sites you're trying to watch for this episode. The list is never-ending. Just look in the fucking description. It's all in there. I'll see you next time. Bye.